Hey guys, welcome to, you guessed it, another World Attacks replay. And today we're featuring the last of a dying breed. This is the Krangvan on the eve of the impending nerf that's coming with update 1.18. And this has been the mainstay of um, OP tanks for the uh, for the longest time. We know it has impenetrable or practically impenetrable uh, turret armor. Fantastic gun depression, pretty good speed, not too bad accuracy. And um, yeah, pretty good heavy tank. Now, despite all that, I've never done too well in this tank. I always did okay in the Emil 1. Did pretty good in the Emil 2. Um, never did that well with the Cranvan. And whether that's just a tier 10 issue, um, maybe I'm just not good enough to play at tier 10. But I think my win rate in the Emil 2 is like 54%. Um, over hundreds, hundreds of games, um, um, but in this, I think I'm in the 30s. I say the high 30s, uh, although I've not played quite so many games. It just never feels right. Never feels right, doesn't this tank? But anyway, um, with the nerfs coming, I was thinking I'm just going to take it out one more time. Just going to take it out one more time. I tried it on the test server with the nerfs, and to be fair. Um, I didn't mind it. I didn't feel any different. Um, but uh, I guess the gun's lost accuracy. You've lost top speed, but you, your power to rate ratio is the same, so it can still be as nimble. Um, certainly coming uphill and things like that. And here we are on uh, on Prokhorovka, Malinovka. I never know. I get them mixed up. Great for a light tank, but if you're in a heavy tank on this map, you're coming to the top of the hill. So I think we tried to take that Yad Tiger, get some cheeky shots on there, some blind shots. Um, not sure if we hit them, we'll see at the end of the battle. Uh, we got a few shots into that Tiger. And, uh, you know, this is such a good looking tank. And uh, such a unique tank as well. Unless you count the other Swedish heavies, the Emil. Um, and there's also the, um, is it the 1941 Emil? So you've got the Emil 1, the Emil 2, the 1941. So it's unique in that group. <laughs> Pretty good turret armor, well angled, good gun depression. And um, I'm just, you know, I'm just like, I'm not even taking this game that seriously. I'm YOLOing over the top. I've been slapped a couple of times at least, what, three times by IS-4. Uh, the Char got a shot into me. Um, the Tiger got a shot into me. Um, not sure where they went, but um, I think at least one went into my lower plate. I was, I was playing that fast and loose. And you can see a few ricochets off the top. Yeah, well, that is T30. Okay, we'll take him out. Um, critical hit on the 130. Uh, we'll get a couple of shots into the IS. Not managed to finish him off, though. So, yeah, most battles, 2,500 damage. I'd be like, okay, well, anything we get here from, from me is a bonus. Um, even in the Crown Van, trust me. Like I, I already said. Um... And it's pretty even Stevens between the two teams. So what have we got down here now? I notice that the other team have um, some good players if you if you rely on the XVM. So get a good shot on this Pajetto. So maybe, you know, that was a that was a good distance snipe on the Pajetto. And maybe that's one of the problems with the Crown Van, is that I can do that with a three-round auto loader. Um, and we got some shots in there as well. And the reload on this, as you can see, is not too long. I think it's around 20 seconds. Uh, I'm not sure why they didn't actually nerf the reload time. I think that might have been a better option. Or actually give it a weak, give it a weak point. Of course, in the same patch as the uh, Cram Van gets nerfed, there's a new tank coming into the game. Another hold down behemoth, behemoth, however you want to say that word. Uh, um, in the shape of the Italian tank destroyer, the Minotauro. So, um, Grand Van may no longer be king of the castle. Now, we're looking for this Yad Tiger that we, we think we hit earlier, or we probably didn't hit earlier, but he is there, and we're gonna got one round into him. We've still got two more to throw at him. Critical damage, that's not gonna do anything for us, is it? And a ricochet. Oh well. 
but you, you know we're, we're playing a sniper here we're, we're, we're going at max render distance um, so again maybe evidence that uh, this tanks accuracy needs uh, a nerf and we're ahead we're, do, we're ahead here Pajero, can we get a Pajero? Another one of my favourite tanks, the Pajero 65, and he repairs pretty sharpishly. Um, otherwise, we would have got another shot into him. Aha, and he kills our Leopard, but I think the Bat Chat managed to kill the Pajero. So now we've got some pretty good players hiding in the woods. How are we going to How are we gonna do this? Um, We're going to sit and we're going to wait. We're going to wait for our batch at 12T to uh, to spot for us, right? Or is he just going to sit and wait? Is that the best strategy right now? Let them get spotted and then we'll take them out. Oh, who spotted those guys? SU 130 p.m. Got a few in there. The Stritzvan S1 tried to shoot us, but didn't uh, didn't manage to pen. See a few ricochet bounce scars off the front of the the uh, turret there, and you can see the <laughs> the hole in the wall plate. There's at least one hole there. There may be two. There may be two uh, two rounds went through the same hole there. I'm not sure. I don't see any other holes in us. I don't know where that Yag Tiger is. So the Batchet 12T is going on a suicide run. And he found... He found an MX. And we'll put a round into him. Can we get another one in? No, over, the, over his head. Ah, not that accurate after all. Of course, we're, again, we're, we're at our vision distance there. What's that? Four, 450 maybe? So I'm thinking after the after the nerf, is it worth putting a turbo on this tank? Is that gonna? But what do we lose? What else do we have on here right now? I know we have vents. We run vents on everything. I couldn't actually tell you what else I have. Um, I, I suspect I probably run V stabs on here. Uh, I know on the Emil I do run coated optics. I do a lot of spotting with the uh, with the Emil. Got a lot of spotting damage uh, in my Scout Heavy. So now it looks like we're doing a, a Scout T95. Now, if, if, if you check out one of my previous videos from a couple of weeks ago, I did the same thing on one of the other maps. One of the other Ofkas. Um, but one where everybody goes to the 1-2 line, and I went to Scout the 1-2 line in my T95. Um, and it works out pretty well, actually. So maybe this, uh, maybe this T95 guy has, has seen that uh, video. He may be one of the eight people that have watched it. And um, <laughs> and taken note and gone gone on a scouting mission, but now I think it's my turn. I mean, I've, I, am I a one shot? Yeah, maybe for what's left. So who's going to be brave? I mean, we're we're definitely ahead. We're definitely ahead on hit points. We're definitely ahead on tanks. Um, but are we ahead on skill and experience when it comes to players? I'm thinking not. I, I don't count myself as a great player by any means. Thoroughly mediocre. But someone's got to break the deadlock here. Uh, maybe I'm going to use this tank in the way it's supposed to be used and advance to the ridge line. Did somebody find the Yag Tiger? Yes, they did, and they took it out, so that's fine. So let's go and sit on a ridge line. And if only I used these tanks for the purpose they were designed, maybe I would play them better. So let's do that. Let's go now. Oh, we get spotted though. <laughs> um, we get spotted by something that doesn't want to shoot us and give its position away. Is that Type 61? Is that what it is? So I'm going to put a round in. And I got spotting damage, so it was me that spotted the Type 61. So there you go. Scout heavy. Fantastic. So what's next then, kids? Uh, two more guys. Is that the... Other Swedish tank, the S1, that probably shot me earlier. Maybe there was multiple of those guys. Or maybe he just ran away into the corner. So, uh, just dancing back and forth here. Uh, <laughs> which, uh, which you can do because I've still got the power. Still got the power. Until tomorrow, the day after, whenever the update comes along. I'll still have the power after, I just won't have the top speed. 
Dang, y'all still playing? I made lunch and came back. Well, yeah, you know, we're just hanging here. There's no rush. There's no rush in these battles. People always complain the battles end too fast. So we're just uh, we're just trying to put an antidote on that. So I'm a one shot. The attack is coming along. Well, T103 is oh, okay. He's in position now. Let's take out the S1. Yes, we do. Excellent. That tiger wants help. Do you want me to go and find him? I'm going to find him for you. How's that? You guys shoot over the ridge. I'm trying to get a selfie there as I zoom down the hill of, of the last of this brand, this type, this performance of a cram van. I keep lamenting the cram van. I'm not even that bothered that it's getting nerfed, in all honesty. So, uh, can we see anything? Uh, well, something's seen us. He's obviously stationary and hiding in the bush, and I'm running. And he gets around into us, but I was not a one shot. 5100. Ugh. Nasty tank. Anyway, there you go. There's the cram van. Pre nerf. So I have to say, um, if I've not already said it, this is probably my best. Cram van battle, certainly the highest damage that I've had in a cram van. Only a first class, that shows you how good people are in this tank. We did get a confederate, because we shot more tanks than anybody else. And uh, we did get a, um, what's that one? Is that a sniper? Is that a sniper or a high caliber, that's for the, for the damage, not a sniper. I was trying to make myself a sniper, you see. If we take a look at the, uh, the final results, we actually achieved 6.5k. I think there was a blind shot in there somewhere. And, uh, yeah, almost 3,000 of that for more than 3,000 meters. Who said I'm not a sniper? And again, not going to be a sniper anymore. And we got f almost 1,500 caused with our assistance. Running a premium account, obviously. Um, we did start off firing gold there. Um, but despite that, we still kind of made a profit. And uh, what about our team score? Well, we're top on damage, but we're only second on experience to our friend, the Scout T95. So there you go, light players. Get yourself a T95 and go scouting. Anyway, that was really just to show you some marking time when the Cran Van was, uh, was fantastic. Only time will tell how it turns out after the, uh, the 1.18 nerf. Anyway, guys. Uh, no doubt the next one is going to feature some Italian TDs. But until then, uh, take care and thanks for tuning in. Bye now.